let's take a look at Campus Wire, the technology we're going to be using to communicate primarily in this class. Here on this web page, you can see Campus Wire, and you can see that there's a number of different things you can click on. On the left, you can see your notifications, your direct messages, and you can search the whole class. You can also see the class feed, where all the posts appear, and you can see chat rooms. Here we're in the class feed, and I've clicked on the Welcome to C211 post that I wrote. Here you can see that 200 people have looked at 200. Here you can see that it's been viewed 200 times, 83 people have looked at it, and you can see that you can respond with comments, and you can like the post. Anyone's welcome to write their own posts. You just have to click this plus button to create a post. Now we're over here, we can write a title, we can write our note, and we can post it to anyone, and we can create, put it in whatever category we want. Also in Campus Wire, there are chat rooms. Over here, we click on chat rooms, and then we can see a variety of them. For example, I can join the lounge, and I can say hello to everyone. Actually, I've already done that. I said, hi everyone, and, and we can see that everyone can read that. I encourage everyone to join the lounge and hang out and chat with your friends and fellow students. We'll also create other chat rooms for various parts of the class. If you click on DMs, you can send a direct message to anyone, including your instructors. Feel free to do that to communicate with us about any topics in the class. You can also use this to send direct messages to your fellow students. Please use this appropriately and responsibly. When you post to CampusWire, you're able to be anonymous to your fellow students if you would like. However, the instructors can see who's posting at any time. Let's take a look at the Canvas page for our class. Here you can see the front page, and it suggests that you visit the web page. You can also, over here, click on Announcements, or your grades, and see all the people in the class. The only thing that's important that you'll need to see in Canvas is your grades. Now let's take a look at the course Here's the course website. It's the most important way we communicate with you. You'll need to visit it regularly and take a look at all the new things that are there. On the front page, there's some important background information and this cartoon, which I think captures exactly what we want to tell you about how to succeed in this class. Practice, practice, practice. Here's the general page. This tells you about the course staff, how to communicate with us, when assignments and lectures and problems are, how to submit homework, how to get help, where to read about the textbook, and important policies like academic honesty and sexual misconduct. Please read all of this page because it'll be vital to understand for this course. Here's the lectures page. Each lecture will appear here and feature a number of links to videos.